once again we are back with the numbers and when we see these numbers they tell us the whole lot of story about how companies are doing what we should expect from the companies how what trajectory they are going to take so if you are an investor you should hear it if you are uh, a job seeker or an employee maybe you would want to be updated with these numbers i i try to simplify these for all these audiences normally our discussions are regarding uh, the financial numbers is limited to some a certain audience and our discussion towards the career towards the um, job seekers as well as employees tends to be in different segments however we must look at them together because the job seeker must understand what's happening at the top level when he understands that he prepares himself for the company's overall direction and shape so this is an it exclusive store if you have realized that if you are a newcomer uh, you would notice lot of discussions are happening within it space whether it is job seeker job employees companies reviews as well as uh, the financial performance and the stock market is not dealing with that so i cover that also let us see some numbers now we have quarterly revenue crossing 6 billion mark uh, about 6.154 billion um, um up 21% so please remember last year the first quarter was very bad in fact the in the first in i think it was first time that tcs projected or 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 uh, gave us the negative growth in the first quarter of 2021 uh Uh, the overall growth uh, in the uh, industry verticals growth was about 4.1 percent uh, this year. Uh, net income is 1.22 billion. So I think these numbers are not very significant when you are uh, whether you are a stock marketer or somebody else. Operating margin is very key indicator. Is 25.5 percent. It was expected to touch about 27 percent and it is coming down. And it is expected that maybe because they have done hike uh, two successive hikes in 6 months time frame probably that is causing some impact over here but uh, this was expected because the announcement was done in the previous quarter so i am hoping this number will not be welcomed and at all if we look at the order book last quarter the order book was 8.9.1 billion dollar and now it is 8.1 billion dollars the good thing is the workforce that means tcs is hiring big time and they have crossed about 5 lakh headcount now let us look at uh, the growth verticals some of the growth coming from uh, the growth is coming from life science and healthcare uh, we see that it is about 7.3% uh, we also see uh, the growth coming back in uh, retail uh, and C- uh, cpg which is about 4.4% bfsi is contributing 3.1% of the growth manufacturing is about 4.8% percent technology is 5 percent and communication media is 1.7 percent what i am afraid is none of them is doing exceedingly well we saw that in accenture results if you have not seen that please go and check accenture results were doing it accenture results were blockbuster while tcs results are below average so the gap between accenture result and tcs results seems to be growing by every day at least for past two quarters we have been noticing that why is that happening we we will have to see that uh, in the long run uh, this could be an aberration for couple of quarters but if this is this trend continues probably accenture is leading this front quite well right now So if we look at the some key markets uh, the growth is coming from North America which was expected but the, the growth is not that big UK uh, again 3.6% okay fine Europe is one, just 1.5% Latin America is 4% Middle East is 4% uh, the important factor is India has seen a degrowth um, of minus 14.1% a decline of minus 14.1% and asia pacific so indian market we all know because of the pandemic how it worked out but the contribution of indian market is not that significant which makes tcs results look better so 
all in all the result seems to be below average and when this happens and you have sky high expectation from the market leader the market is going to punish it like very badly and this is going to reflect in the whole IT industry. Infosys is coming up with its results on 14th. Uh, Mindtree is I think um, expected around 14 or 13 somewhere and Wipro all, all of them will come together. So I am expecting a bloodbath because of the reason. We had very high expectation that's why this stocks has grown by about 10 to 15 percent in this year itself so please remember this if you are in the it stock right now you must stay away or maybe you should not invest in the it stock for at least 15 20 days when we have this uh, earning season we we might have some bad surprises i would look for one company as an outlier which is hcl so let us see if hcl does well because last quarter hcl also performed uh, uh, hcl performance was also below mark uh, so looking at uh, what is there for employees so if we look at uh, there the result shows us that the, the digital transformation theme is working pretty well um, digital transformation is all about optimizing on the processes uh, cut down on various uh, workflows um, implementing new automation and uh, through various uh, technology and frameworks uh, so these all things are coming up together uh, consulting services are doing pretty well and if we see uh, cloud platform services as i said in my last video cloud platform is the large uh, volume generator right now in terms of jobs so if you are somebody who is looking for jobs please make cloud as your first uh, go to uh, technology and framework and uh, cognitive business operations so the bpo segment is doing fine for them tell me what do you think of these results uh, what is your expectation from the industry right now i'm not saying that the good days are over um, what we are expecting probably uh, good days at least for the next two to three years but this is probably one blip uh, we will have to track that but if this trend continues uh the market leaders uh the company uh, will will come under pressure and the employee benefits which we, which are being rolled out will see some cut downs uh, do you see some exception in this stack which company you think will uh, will surprise us uh, in a good way right now right now personally um last quarter if you saw that uh, wipro surprised the market and the performance was uh, quite bad and uh, quite good in fact and um, uh, company has seen quite a bit of rally since then but if this effect resonates on Wipro results also that means we will see a, a big decline in Wipro we'll see that I'll cover all of them and uh, I wait for your inputs and uh, let's see if you have not connected please do do connect um, uh, while I come up with some other topics of your interest thank you Stay connected, stay safe.